Are you confused about wall coverings for your dollhouse? Join me today and I'll talk to you about a few of the things I like to use as wall coverings in my dollhouses and room boxes. Okay, so today's video, I decided to do today's video because of a private message slash comment that I received about the walls in my Harrison. Uh, I have a photo too or here on YouTube of my Harrison. I think it was the very first video I put up. And somebody had watched the video and they saw the walls in the living room and dining room. I made that room look like a house with the walls that are just painted. Because you have to remember 90% of my miniatures are done in the today's time frame. So I didn't want wallpaper on every wall. So I wanted painted walls. But I know from experience that painting the kit wood doesn't look good. It'll turn out not looking like a wall because that's not what our walls and our houses are made out of. Most houses that are built now in the you know in the last like 50 years most of them have drywall covered with a little bit of texture and then painted they're not wood and painted um, for the most part and older houses have plaster so we need to replicate that in our miniature surroundings to make it look like the real thing and my something I came up with a long time ago is this paper and there's the label. I will put the particulars, the name and the brand on the blog post so you can go there for that specifically what this is because I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this word. I think the name is, it looks to me to be a French word. I don't know, but I can't pronounce it and I'm not going to try. I'm not going to butcher the word and say the wrong thing and have you looking for the wrong thing. This paper comes in a rainbow of colors. I looked up online and I got a few facts about this paper. This paper is 19 inches by 25 inches. I've seen it priced anywhere from a dollar, dollar, dollar and a half a sheet, all the way up to about three dollars a sheet. I don't think I've ever seen it higher than three dollars a sheet. 19 by 25 is a large piece of paper. You can get a lot out of that. It comes, like I said, a rainbow of colors. One website I looked at had over 50 colors in stock. Uh, one thing I love, there's two textures to this paper. The back side is much smoother than the front side, which this website I looked at, it was an art supply website, they called it a vellum texture. To me, it just looks like a miniaturized version of textured drywall. It's wonderful for this. It's a 98 pound paper, which means it's pretty thick. It's cardstock thick. It's got some body to it. It's actually designed for artists who use pastels. I've got my cheat sheet over the side. Pastels, oil pastels, chalk, pencil, watercolor, or acrylic paint. It can handle the moisture of gluing it to the walls in your dollhouse. I love this. I also use it in white for my ceiling papers in all my dollhouses. I love the fact that when I have a long wall, I can cut a strip. I don't think I've ever had to have a seam in a wall because I've got 25 inches of length on one side. That's longer than most dollhouses, even, let alone one room in. So this is my number one go-to, that's a strange view, number one go-to choice for making a paint wall that looks painted. Uh, like I said, there will be more information and details on the blog post, so be sure and pop over there. Let me put this to the side, let me get our next sample, because maybe you don't want painted walls. Maybe you actually want some wallpaper. 
let's talk about that next. Okay, so let's say we want to, you've decided you are going to use wallpaper in your dollhouse. And I wallpaper some rooms. I don't do the drywall look in every room I wallpaper. And I make it look painted with the other paper. This is a sheet of real dollhouse wallpaper. Um, every once in a while when I have an order for miniatures.com, I'll buy one of their, they have these packages that are done by color and they're like, papers, I don't know if they're discontinued or what they are, but they're papers that are, you get three sheets each of several designs, and it, it comes out a lot cheaper that way. Um, and I can usually find some sheets in there that I can use, and I find uses for all of them eventually. So this is a sheet out of that. They come approximately 12 inches tall by about 18 inches long. So again, you have a nice generous piece of paper. There's a few advantages to these papers. They're designed to be a wallpaper for the dollhouse. So, number one, the scale of the print is right. It, it's going to not look out of scale in your dollhouse if you're using it in 112 scale paper in a 112 scale house. The designs, they're cute designs, you know. It's made, the paper is heavy enough to take the glue. So you can glue it down. It doesn't wrinkle too badly if you use the right glue. There's And there's other advantages, obviously, that I'm not going to cover every advantage or every disadvantage for each of our choices. Disadvantages as I see... Oh, and another advantage, of course, is the size. If I, I don't remember if I said that. Disadvantages as I see it. I don't have a dollhouse store. I don't have a miniature store to go look at. So I've got to mail order my paper. So that means... If I'm working on, say, in this case, a teddy bear room, if I already would start on the teddy bear room and I ordered this paper, it may or may not go with what I already have. So you have to really get the paper first and then plan your room. Second disadvantage, cost. If you're buying one design, like normally, miniatures.com sells three sheets of a single design, and it's almost $9 a package. If you're doing a four or five room dollhouse, that's going to add up really, really quickly, especially with all the other little things that you need to buy. So I think price is a disadvantage. And there's obviously, there's only so many manufacturers so there's a limited number of designs and colors and themes that you are going to be able to find. So if you're lucky enough to find dollhouse wallpaper and it's something you really want, go for it. I'm not saying not to. In fact, I use, I think every dollhouse I've done has at least some of this in, some of the dollhouse wallpapers in them. I think my Brookfield was done completely with it because I didn't know of any alternatives back when I did it. So that's our dollhouse wallpaper. Let me give you what... Let me talk to you next about what the other thing I use a lot. Okay, so these are 12 by 12 inch scrapbook papers. This is Recollections, which means it, I believe that means that it is the Michaels store brand. It's the brand you get at Michaels anyway. I picked up these three, three um, designs this morning at Michaels. They happen to be on sale, five sheets for a dollar. So price is obviously a big advantage here. Uh, this is similar in weight to the dollhouse wallpaper. It's slightly thinner, so you do have to be a little more careful. It's not designed specifically to be glued down necessarily. So you may run into trouble with this kind of paper buckling if you don't glue it with the correct glue. I was able, like I said, I found these three. These three are all small enough designs. They would definitely work for a dollhouse. So you can get some designs. Another advantage to these papers, there's many manufacturers, there's many designs. I think pretty much any theme you can think up, you can find a scrapbook paper to go with it. So that's a big advantage along with the cost. Now, the disadvantages. It's only a 12 by 12 inch sheet. So you don't have as much usable space. You will have more seams. 
Many dollhouse rooms are bigger than 12 inches across the wall, especially that wall that you're looking directly at as you look into the dollhouse. So you may have to hide a seam. It may be harder to hide a seam because these are not meant to be pieced. So you may, have, you may not be able to use the whole 12 inch width. How far over will you have to go to match your pattern? I've had to go I've had to go about that far and I'm not matched all the way up so that's not a complete match. So you're going to have to fiddle around a lot more with especially some designs and some designs you may never find a match for. You may never be able to match your pattern. You may just have to live with the seam showing. Um, and that's just a decision you'll have to make. Some designs are easy stripes, some plaids those are usually a lot easier. Um, so those are, those are the three things that I wanted to talk to you about today as far as papers. Let me go get my paste and we'll talk again about the, pap the uh, paste that I almost now, I know I've covered use. it many, many times. I use Yes Paste for applying wallpaper of any kind or any other paper product to my dollhouses. It's acid free. It's a low moisture glue because it's a book binders glue. It's very thick. It can be thinned with water, but I highly recommend you don't because that kind of negates the low moisture point of the paste. Oh, and one thing I didn't cover. I know a lot of people print off wallpaper on their computer. And if you, if you want to do that, go for it. I've had bad luck with it. The problem I've had with it is that the colors don't always stay true over the period of time. So the colors I print today may not be the same as they will be a year from now or six years from now. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, if you are going to, <coughs> excuse me, if you're going to print off your paper with your computer, you are limited to the size of paper your computer can handle, your printer can handle, be sure you use the best quality paper you can find that will go through your printer. So that's just my little spiel about wallpaper and how to cover your walls. Just some alternatives. Obviously there's other things that can go on walls. You can put bricks up, you can put tile up, you can put wood paneling up. We'll talk about those another time. Be sure and check the blog post. I'm going to give you some more recommendations and some more specifics about the products I've shown you. Um, if you haven't found us on Facebook, be sure to join us over there. We have a lot of fun, and I'd love to see the pictures that you guys share with me of what you're working on. So until next time, have fun with your minis, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.